Linda, thank you so much for your time. Um, I'm sure it's it's really tough over there, you know, being on your own. How are you how are you coping with the with the situation at the minute? Uh, I've been enjoying myself. Let me tell you, even <laughs> though, like I said, uh, first few weeks it was a bit difficult because I had to adjust, you know, new environment, new people. But eventually, I mean, I have nicest teammates and the coaches and technical staff. So so far, I've been enjoying myself. And how is it in Sweden? I know that their lockdown is. You know, it, it's not anywhere close to what to what we're doing. You know, it seems like they've been quite um, giving people quite a bit of freedom given the situation. Yeah, th there's no lockdown here, but I mean, some of us we most of the times indoors. We only go outside when it's needed, but mm. other than that, we always indoors. No, that's fine. So, and, yeah, and, and how's your your training regime going? The what? The training. Yeah. Uh, it's been going great, even though we have like two weeks off and then we go train and train individually, rest. So it's it's been great, I must say. No, that's good. That's good. Um, not not quite the the start to, to life in Sweden that you uh, you were hoping for, though. I'm sure. Yeah, it's not. At least I I played a, a one match. Yeah, you got that out of the way. At least you got your debut. It is. It is really a great one, but. I mean, it, it will pass. It will pass eventually. So yeah. Yeah, and 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 you mentioned that game. Um, how was it to get off to, to for you to get off to such a good start there? Uh it was like it was a really good start for me. I mean, I started off on the bench, and you know, I I had to read the game for when I get the chance. Then I penetrate, and that's what I did. I yeah. got the chance, and I used it. So no, it's, it was it's a great. good start for me. No, I'm really glad. Like you know, you always you always wonder when someone moves to a new environment, especially when it's a new a new country. Um, you know, sometimes it, it, if it takes a little bit too long, people can start to doubt themselves a little bit. So for you to to get off to such a good start, um, must be a you know a massive, I suppose, a, a relief for you. I think I think playing in different countries really helped me. You know. So I, I, when I got here, I did not really struggle. Yeah. So I'm, 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 I'm glad that I had to travel first before coming here. So yeah. Yeah, and and going back to that, you know, you're you're still incredibly young, um, but you've already played in you know South Africa, America, China. How how much do you think that is helping you as a as a footballer to to sort of? I know you mentioned in, in settling in this environment, but how much do you think it's helping your game? to have uh, you know, experienced all those different places by your, your age already? I think playing in different countries really helped me because, I mean, it, it's different. I mean, in, in, in USA, for me, it's one of the best leagues there. It's one of the best. You play against your Megan Rapino, your Kali Lawyer. Yeah. So it is, it is so competitive. And you, you go to China where it's so physical as well. And like it's also competitive, so I think it really helped me as a player to play in different stages to see how it feels like, you know. Yeah. And now I'm in Europe, get to experience new things, so um, um it, it really helped um, me a lot. So, yeah. yeah. And and how much you you know, looking at the obviously last year was a massive year for for South African women's football, getting to the World Cup, playing in the World Cup, um, and we have seen a, obviously a direct correlation. On the back of that, like some huge moves, you know, like, like, uh, like Fifi and, and Tembi and yourself, and and there's so many, you know, so many of you, your group now who have taken some big steps up. Um, do you think that, that is a, a direct correlation from you know people seeing what what Banyana Banyana can do, having seen them at the World Cup? Yeah, the the World Cup really really helped us to showcase our talents. So uh, for for us to get more players uh, uh, abroad. We really need to qualify for World Cups because, other than that, we 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 in South Africa people can't see us. So the only way for people to really scout us is to make sure that we qualify for the World Cups and get to play abroad. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. No, that's great. It's it's really exciting, you know, from a from a South African perspective. You know, I've been here for you know, the best part of a decade now, and and to see the 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 growth of the women's game in South Africa and, and you know how rapidly it's sort of accelerated over the last couple of years has been has been really great to see. I was telling uh, Julia Stewart yesterday that um, being at, at the game when when Tembi scored that goal at the World Cup final, that
that'll stay with me forever. Like, I know I'm meant to stay neutral, but when Tembi scored that goal, I was up. I jumped out of my seat. I couldn't help myself. Yeah, it was it was amazing because, I mean, we, we had a good start. Even though with me, I got injured on that game, but I, I'm glad that I got the opportunity to play at the World Cup. And, I mean, God does amazing things because I, I never thought that I was going to play in Europe and here I am. Yeah. So I'm, I'm really glad. Yeah. Nah, that's, a, that's amazing. And well, so one thing I did actually want to ask you, People call you the Ramfontein Ronaldinho. Um, where did that name come from? Do, do you know who the first person was to, to call you that? You know, it was actually Christopher, my agent. You know, like uh, we were just we were just talking, talking. He was like, people call you problem child. People <laughs> call you Mimi. Um, he was like, I don't see that in you. I see a, a Ramfontein Ronaldinho, and I'm gonna start that name, and that's how it came about. It's amazing. It's, it, it must be quite nice to be, you know, affiliated with, with that kind of footballer. <laughs> yeah, it, it brings pressure. I mean, Ronaldinho, that's, that's, that's a lot to take. That's a lot. But yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm glad that uh, Christopher could see my potential. So yeah. I guess, yeah. Yeah. And, and, and how has it been for you so far? You know, you, obviously you did get your debut. You, you had a, a, a great start and, you know, the... The coaches and, and the football club have spoken really, really highly of you since you since you arrived. What is your what what is your aim for the season? Have you got any sort of any goals for yourself that you've you've set to to sort of get done by the end of the season when when we do eventually get football back? Uh, my my aim is just to score, just to <laughs> score because uh, 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 that's one thing in in China I didn't do. I didn't really get the chance to do what I do best meaning it's to score. So now that I'm more of an attacking player this side, I, I think that's one of my aims, to get as many goals as possible and uh, get to play more games. Yeah. Simple. So, yeah. No, that's great. Um, and, and just before I let you go, um, I, I know you've got training to do and you've got all your... All, it's, it's a busy time. Even though there's no games, it's, I know it's still a busy time for you. But um, I just wanted to ask you, as a, as a young female South African footballer, what what is the the route that you you sort of had to take because you know it, it's difficult enough to become a footballer period um but to to make it in the women's game it, it, there's there's even more um I sort of suppose more struggles that have, have have been implemented there because of the lack of you know professional football clubs and all that kind of thing you know what was your what was your route into into getting to where you are now uh going to trials now and then and making sure that I'm being scouted. Uh, I, I remember uh, Tembi Khatana was the one who was like, Linda, there's trials at HPC. You should go. That's where she was. And I, I went for trials at H High Performance Center yeah, in yeah. Victoria. Yeah. And I got scouted by Coach Cheryl. So she, I got introduced to National Setup by Coach Cheryl. So that's where... I started playing for the under-17, the under-20, and eventually I got the call-up to Banyana Banyana. Yeah, so, 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 so obviously did. Temi played a big role for you there. She, she did, <laughs> she did, she did. Yeah, I remember I was even late for that try. She's like, Linda, where are you? Like, the trial was starting. I'm like, I'll be there. So, yeah, she, she, she played a really huge role in my life, and she's still playing that role in my life. But that must be beautiful for you to, you know, you obviously signing for Joe Garden this year and, and, and Tembi going off and signing for Benfica. Um, you know, and, and then you've obviously got someone like Jermaine who's over at Batiste now. I know you guys are quite close. Like, how often do you guys talk? Like, are you are you on the phone like every other day? We we talk like literally every day. We, we also, even though I don't talk to Fifi and... Uh, Jamin is much, but we do talk. I'm always on the call with Tembi, but we do talk like, how are you? Things like that. And yeah, we do check up on each other. So, no, yeah. that's that's amazing. I, 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 and I really do think that that kind of, you know, that camaraderie, that, that I, I feel like friends do perform better on a field together. You know, I, I, do, you, do you feel the sure. same way? Like when you are out there with Jermaine and Fifi and, and, and Tembi, do you feel that there's just like a little bit of a of a click there? The, 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 yeah, I do. Because even off the field, we we, we, we talk about anything that we want to talk about. We, we have that connection. So 
on the food it helped yeah it really helped so yeah that's amazing and and just lastly um do you have a message for anybody back home any anything you want to any shout outs you want to make um anyone that you've got a message for i just want to say hi to linda's fans thank you for their support and even though sometimes things don't go my way but they're still supporting me i really do appreciate them so yeah that's perfect that's perfect linda thank you so much i really do appreciate your time um Hopefully, uh, obviously, I'm moving over to, to to the UK soon, hoping to come and see you in Sweden when the when the games start going again. Um, just yeah. say, make sure you save a couple of goals for when I for when I come. And some celebrations, okay? <laughs> Cheers, Linda. Thank you. Thank you so much.